Hello, my name is Rick and welcome to another Magma Showcase. In today's video, we're going to be showcasing the Electromagnetic Coherence mod, which is a little bit of a mouthful, but basically, that equals freaking lasers guys this mod is really cool honestly one of the best mods which i've seen in a long time as you can see i've been testing it out already because this mod adds freaking laser beams into the game so first thing we're going to do is place a laser emitter and as you see it places in whatever direction you're looking um, when you place it so basically we've got ourselves this nice looking block right here and then if we get a little redstone trail behind it and put a lever on the end once activated it builds this laser and as you can see it will break through anything in its path as you can see and uh, you know it looks it looks rather nice now let's actually um, perhaps break that here and instead well, whoops we uh, we need to place it back instead we'll put the lever here and boom this one is a lot more powerful you see it's breaking blocks far, far quicker it actually looks much bigger as well so we can turn that off and uh, yes yeah. so so let's place that back how it was and we'll make it a little bit longer like way longer this time and then we can right click it and you see it's much thinner this time so now what we're gonna do is if we place red stained glass you see it becomes ever so slightly um, red uh, tinted and the more glass you have the redder it will become just like this but also the less powerful it will become so um, if we um, if we break this now and we put a redstone lever here um, you'll see that it isn't quite as thick because it has to travel through all of these um, first so we'll break these and just to show you guys it will also work with well it works with any kind of uh, stained um, stained glass but it also works with uh, frames as well so we can make this nice uh, sort of purple tinted laser which is pretty cool and another cool thing about the um, the glass is you can actually combine colors with it so if we um, place some red glass and we place some yellow glass um, and we just sort of mix them together eventually we'll end up with this sort of nice little uh, this orange which you've got to admit is pretty damn awesome so that's probably created a big hole right now and um, this will actually go uh, about two I think it's 150 blocks before it stops so that's uh, quite a long way now um, you can also if you get yourselves um, a laser receiver and we place it right here I actually know that we're not lined up there we go then you can basically uh, turn it on and it will receive the um, it will it'll stop the um, the beam and it will receive it and it will actually output a redstone pulse as well um, as you can see by this uh, sort of pulsating and the, the less um, strong the um, lever the uh, weaker the redstone pulse will be so you see it uh, it actually just stops here for this one and none of these are actually uh, lit so um, as you can see just to prove that if I put that there no lasers coming out but if I um, break this again and I put it here we've got a laser heading off in that direction and it is burning down the forest so we should probably turn that off <laughs> um, so yeah we're just gonna quickly time set 4000 so we get rid of all of those nasty uh, shadows and stuff but yeah how cool is that so you can create all kinds of awesome like traps um, with this you could create it reminds me of portal in many ways um, that game if you've ever played it because you can create similar sort of contraptions with it and if we break this and we place um, this redstone beam here you see if the player walks into it and um, it actually will uh, sort of block it so obviously that creates access sort of like a tripwire so that you could create all kinds of awesome redstone contraptions with that and if it's more powerful um, so if we put it on maximum strength like this and uh, we put a cow there you see it is super strong so I, I would actually start burning if I was there which is uh, you know never good and oh oh <laughs> oh my god that was horrifying I want to do it again okay this is this is a new game that I like uh, are you gonna do oh it didn't quite work as well that time didn't quite create uh, a little Mexican wave but yeah <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was awesome. Ah, oh no! <laughs> I've been diddled by my own laser. <laughs> so this mod will also add mirrors, which is pretty cool. So if we place a mirror right here, you see it will intercept this laser beam and it'll send it off 
into a new location. And depending on whereabouts we right click on the mirror, depends on where the... Oh no. Oh dear, dear, dear. <laughs> what have I done? What have I don't have a backup of this world. Oh man. <laughs> But yeah, you can place it in um, different locations and it'll send the laser off in different directions. Um, so, you know, if, if I wanted to place that there, then I could have another laser right there, which sends it off into a different location. And I could have another laser right, uh, not, not there, right, nope, right, right there. And it would send it off in yet another location. And if I hold shift, it will actually... Um, come on, wait, nope, get, <laughs> wait for it, wait a second. I think I need an empty hand. If I hold shift... It'll um, sort of put it onto a right angle, so I can. Um, it'll only be like, yeah, like that basically. Um, you understand what I'm, uh, what I'm showing you. What's this guy looking at? Get out of here! And we can also get ourselves a focus crystal. Um, and I've killed myself. <laughs> but basically, the focus crystal. Um, were, what have I done? Um, the focus crystal um, works in a similar way to the mirror in that you can <laughs> in that you can right click on it to send it off into different directions and um, you can also use the focus crystal and a focusing matrix to to calculate whereabouts you want it to go so with the mirror you had to sort of work it out which direction it would go in yourself but with this one you can send it in specific directions so if I were to right click on the focusing um, matrix and then right click on this block right here you see that it will send it straight to this block and it'll start like digging it or whatever and uh, that's pretty cool. Now, as well as that, another thing that the um, focusing matrix will do is if I get a redstone current set up, it will start moving around, um, as you can see, which looks very cool. And it moves on a pivot from the direction which your um, redstone torch is set. So if, if I um, were to activate it from here, it starts moving in this direction. And if I were to uh, slash time set um, 18,000 then you can see that you can create lots of very cool light shows with this obviously you know yours would be organized a lot better with mine you'd have multiple ones running multiple different colors and stuff and it would be freaking awesome so there we go guys the things that you can do with this mod are incredible there is so much choice you can create like um, challenges you can create traps you can create light shows you can do so many awesome things. So this is a really cool mod, and I think it deserves a good like rating down below. So let's aim for 500 likes on this mod review. That would be awesome if we could hit that. And obviously, check out the mod. I encourage you to download it for yourselves using the link in the description. Anyway, guys, if you're new to the channel, then you can click that subscribe button. But my name is Jack, and I shall see you guys next time. Bye!